Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are now excitedly expecting the arrival of their royal baby as their move to their new family home Frogmore Cottage is complete. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are going from strength to strength after they stepped up to senior royal duties following their marriage last year. However a closer look at Harry could reveal that he shows signs of nervousness and insecurity that he did not display before meeting the Duchess, according to a body language expert. Meghan Markle news, rare comment about royal baby revealed Kate Middleton bombshell, how Harry revealed secret on wedding day podcast pod save the queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and regularly features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. Speaking on the podcast, was it aired in June 2018, Judy James lifted the lid on some of the signs of nervousness Harry displays. Although she acknowledged that Harry has entered a new more mature phase of his life, she said, we also know another side to Harry which is he's completely the prankster of the royal family. He's been suppressing that and cutting back a bit some of the jokes and some of the humor just looking like a guy who's completely not sideways smitten by love. She continued, he has also been made quite nervous. I think he believes he's punching above his weight quite a lot. Ms. James described how this nervousness could be seen in particular on the day of Meghan and Harry's royal wedding last year. She said, it's interesting watching him, in particular on the wedding day. This guy who normally would be the one showing off a bit and joking around at other people's weddings. He did, I think it was 12 self-touches within a few steps when he got out of the car. Those are the kind of gesticulations that you see a lot in Windsor males, but not so much with Harry. I think he'd been brought to his knees by emotion and love and the seriousness of the whole thing. Self-touches are tiny signals, such as rubbing the arm or touching the neck, that are regarded in body language analysis as soothing gestures which indicate anxiety and insecurity. Ms. James explained, the royal family are not really supposed to use the barrier gestures that most of us would normally use when we're under pressure or got a lot of attention, so they can't fold their arms. The males in particular have all these ritual self-touches. I think everybody's seen Prince Charles's when he fiddles with his watch strap or his cuff. He does three or four little movements in a ritual. Charles's grandfather did exactly the same rituals. William is more his father's son. William tends to stand with his hands clutched in front of his torso which is a huge self-defensive barrier. Harry hadn't really got any until he met Meghan. Miss James also spoke about the symbolism in the Duchess of Sussex's official coat of arms and said how some of the Duchess's traits it illustrates may be worrying senior royals. To subscribe to Pod Save the Queen go to a cast or your normal podcast provider.